really cool being around your brothers all the time. We you know, sleep in the same bus, we eat at the same restaurant, we meet and greet, we perform on the same stage, have the same friends. So really, we really do all the time hang out. You shake hands so weird. No, I do not. Yes, yes, you're like, hey. I think that we all have an equal level of respect for each other, and you know, we, we never really fight that much at all. If we do, it's about little petty things. Like I'm wearing Nick's socks today, just don't tell him I'm wearing his socks today. He might get a little upset with me. Really, Joe? Are you serious? People always ask us how we can spend so much time together and not get bored of each other. The secret is that we may be one band, but we're three unique individuals. Because you know what? It's cool to be different. As the oldest Jonas brother, Kevin is definitely the responsible one. I just kind of have to carry myself in a way that's different from everyone else. I have to try to be an example in a good way. I have the three younger brothers watching me all the time. Kevin tries to be the serious one. And we are coming to Canada, and you can come see us hey. live. I'm trying to throw it in there. Joe. But he tends to be like, jokes around and likes to have fun. <laughs> He's kind of dramatic a little, a little bit. Oh no. I want to get back to bed. When it comes to like getting hurt or anything like that, he's always the one like to be like give him a poke. And stuff. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hopefully we will be able to. If the Jonas Brothers band were a high school, Joe would definitely be devoted the class clown. Joe um, is the funny one who keeps us all laughing. <laughs> I would describe myself probably as the jokester or probably the one who is playing most pranks. Is this my left foot or right? I enjoy having a good time on tour. It's rock and rock! It's the weekend! Unfortunately for Joe, being the center of attention doesn't always work in his favor. Everybody calls me danger. I tend to fall a lot. About a month and a half ago, we were filming a video, and the concept of the video was that I can run through walls. And unfortunately, I can't. It was pretty bad, and so I had to get rushed to the hospital in New York City. To get 50 to 60 stitches. Right above here is a scar. The most important thing going forward is sun protection. A lot of sunblock. If you're going to be outside, if you're going to be out for a run or something like that, just make sure you put a smear of sunblock on that area. Looks terrific. Really happy with how it's coming together. Good. And as for what makes me different, I'm a perfectionist and it's just been awful my whole life. Even something as simple as getting handed my guitar on stage. I need to practice again, again, and again, and again. I'm really, really hard on myself, and when it comes to, like, if I made a mistake on stage, I get, like, really bummed out about it. Everything's got to go perfectly. Nick is definitely going to be the one that will someday run for president. He really steps up to the plate. And when it comes to sports, I'm just as competitive. When I was younger, and even now, I still get, like, really, really crazy competitive. No, not get mad, but like when someone's not focused and on the game, like, like I really am just waiting for them to pay attention. Oh! One, two, three, go! Yep, my brothers and I are three very different people, but there's one thing we can all agree on, being the best role models we can possibly be. Keeping up a good image is a major thing that we live by, especially because we know so many people look up to us. We don't really do anything that wouldn't be wholesome. That's why we try to be good, positive influences. We try to treat people well and we try to thank everybody. We of course, you know, want to be able to be really nice to our fans because we really do care about them so much. One of the most important things we can pass on to our fans is that it's totally cool to be different. Because living the dream will always mean not being afraid to stand out in the crowd.